Golf's glamour girl, Paige Speronak, might be on your top 10 social media influences list, but things aren't always what they seem on social media. Behind those pretty selfies and flawless outfits is a life full of challenges that you could never imagine. For starters, the Paige you see today wasn't the same girl a few years ago. In fact, she was the exact opposite. So, what happened to Paige? What did her early life look like? Hello, and welcome back to Golf 365, your daily dose of golf updates. In this video, we're answering all all your questions and giving you a raw and super detailed version of Paige's life. Hang on tight, we've got a lot of tea to spill. First up, let's take a look at where she is today. You may know Paige as a professional golfer turned social media influencer, but the truth is, it took a lot for her to get where she is. Most people would describe her today as sexy, athletic, and smart. Now, you might think that the golf girl just posts pretty photos of herself on Instagram, but it's actually a lot more than that. She loves showing people how much fun golf is, and she also promotes anti-bullying by sharing her own stories from when she was a little girl. Both these topics may not sound very influencer type to you, but Paige makes sure her content is fun, engaging, and inspirational. Now let's take a trip down memory lane. Where did Paige's career start from? Believe it or not, the pro golfer actually found golf by accident. She was never meant to pursue it as a career, and she didn't grow up with a passion for it either. Born in Denver, Colorado in March 1993, Paige was always interested in athletics. In fact, it was probably in her DNA because both her parents were athletes. Her father played football in his college years at the University of Pittsburgh and even went on to win the NCAA championship. Her mom also took up sports, but in a super different way. She was a professional ballerina. If that wasn't enough, then Paige's older sister, Lexi, got an athletic scholarship at Stanford University where she was on the track and field teams. All this might sound like sports just runs in the family, but there's no denying that Paige faced a lot of pressure. And get this, little Paige always dreamt of becoming an Olympic athlete. Looking at the way her entire family loved sports, Paige had the dream of becoming a gymnast. To make her dreams come true, she trained six days a week and up to seven hours at a time. That's a heck of a lot of training for a little girl. But hey, hard work pays off. Paige's determination meant that she was able to dominate her field. She was even invited to the Keralgi camp, which shows that she was super close to competing in the Olympics. To free up more time for training and her future Olympics career, little Paige even chose to switch to homeschooling instead of regular school. But wait, there was another reason for that too. You just gotta keep watching to find out what it was. Unfortunately, things don't always go as planned. Paige's lifelong dream was shattered to pieces when she fractured her kneecap several times when she was just 12 years old. At some point, she got so injured that she could no longer train or compete as a gymnast. And to add to all that, she had already left school all those years ago, so she couldn't go back to being a regular kid either. Remember how we said that there was another reason why Paige left school? Well, if becoming a teenager wasn't bad enough, she was also bullied in school. She had a rare scalp condition, which made all her hair fall out. To keep that from happening, she was forced to wear her hair in a bowl cut. Because of these problems, she always felt like a weird kid. And you know what made the whole thing even worse? The other kids hated her so much that they threw rocks at her during recess. Paige also had a severe case of asthma, so she could never sleep over at a friend's house or participate in other activities. This usually made her feel like an outcast who just couldn't make friends. But despite all the bad things in life, Paige kept going. Like we said, Paige couldn't be a gymnast anymore because of her injuries. Now, she had another important decision to make. Make. Does she want to try her hand on another sport or give up entirely? And of course, you guessed it, she took up another sport. But hey, it wasn't golf. Paige actually started tennis lessons from her aunt, but gave up pretty quickly when she didn't feel as involved in it as gymnastics. Then, her father gave her the idea to start golfing. And guess what? She instantly fell in love with it. That's basically the story of how she decided to become a pro golfer. She made her way to Colorado's junior golf circuit and started winning right away. Her quick rise to success made her a hot topic in the golf golfing community. And since then, she's only bagged more wins. And when life was finally on track again, Paige had another big decision to make, to go to college or turn pro right away. And at that point, she chose college. Lucky for her, lots of top college programs were interested in Paige because of her huge success in golf. But in the end, it came down to the University of Arizona and their awesome sauce scholarship. Even her family supported the decision because it was the best way for her to gain a different experience after being homeschooled all her life. But adjusting to 
a new place isn't all that easy. As a popular athlete and homeschooled student, she quickly fell victim to lots of mean girl stuff. Other women at college spread some nasty rumors about her. It's pretty obvious that all the bullying affected Paige pretty badly since she only ended up competing in three events in her freshman year and her highest score was only 73. And after that, she was forced to make yet another life-changing decision. Paige was quite miserable at Arizona, so she made the decision to transfer. Lucky for her, it turned out to be a great choice. She ended up going to San Diego State University, and with welcoming peers and an awesome coach, she was on her way to succeed in no time. And of course, that's when Paige turned her raw skills into real tournament success. She got fifth and sixth place finishers and even a first team All Mountain West honors during her sophomore year. And hey, that wasn't her biggest achievement. She actually finished 19th place at the NCAA Central Regional Championships, which was a pretty huge deal for an amateur. After that, in her junior year, she got another second team Mountain West honors and a top 10 placement in the Mountain West Championship. And in her senior year, she led the SDSU Aztecs to victory. Now you'd think the hard part in her life was over, but there's more. Back when Paige was still celebrating their victory with her teammate, the golf team decided to make a trick shot video. It was all fun and games, but who would have thought that history was about to repeat itself in the worst way? The video got tons of media attention, and Paige's Instagram was suddenly filled with lots of hate and harassment. People were quick to call her ugly and even a horrible golfer. Her parents had always told her that if you put the work in and dedicate your life to something, you will be successful. Unfortunately, that just wasn't happening for her. She had everything it took to be a world-class golfer but she just couldn't put it together. In fact, all these things combined started to drive her insane. At that point, she just stopped caring. She decided she wanted a bigger social life, and most importantly, she wanted to have fun. And then she got a taste of internet fame. The video that Paige posted had already taught her that internet fame has a good and bad side, but that didn't stop her from pursuing the field. In fact, she started posting trick shot videos herself on her social media pages. And of course, back in the day, golf and social media didn't mix well, but that was only until golf influencers like Paige came around and changed everyone's minds. Because of her enormous internet fame, she started getting approached by everyone, from possible agents to tournament organizers. But it wasn't until the summer of 2015 that she got a message that changed her life. A golf executive from Dubai approached Paige and invited her to play golf in a pro tournament. Turned out that the tournament needed some promotion, and Paige was the biggest name in the golf social media industry. And for her, this was her golden ticket to success, as the sponsor offered to cover her airfare, and other expenses. One thing led to another, and before we knew it, Paige made her pro debut in Dubai in December 2015. But unfortunately, the bullies returned, and this time, they were all over social media. Lots of people criticized her for playing in a pro tournament. Headlines like, with more selfies than birdies, golf shouldn't need Paige Sporonic, were all over magazines and social media. They kept posting photos of Paige in tight dresses, so nobody could see that there was more to the golf girl than just being pretty. Despite Despite the negative media attention, Paige still played in Dubai. Unfortunately, the bullies got to her once again as she was sick with anxiety. She ended up finishing at number 101 out of 107 places. But hey, everything happens for a reason because that's when Paige found her true calling. For the first time in the history of golf, TV crews were trying to cover the entire event like crazy. In fact, the tournament even blew up on social media and Paige earned some respect in the field for making golf a super popular sport. And at that point, Paige knew that she brought media attention and a huge audience to the game, but still wasn't sure about her ability to play golf. She even got so frustrated that she was ready to walk away from golf once and for all, but she didn't give up too soon. Instead, she took more training, worked harder than ever, and improved her game. But no matter what she did, her efforts just weren't paying off. So after she played the Cactus Tour and won the Scottish Open, she decided to do something very different from golf. She became a full-time social media content creator, which would bring a lot more money than golf anyway. And now, Paige is focused on creating inspirational content. Since her early retirement from golf, we've seen Paige motivate others to pursue a healthy lifestyle. She also works to grow the game of women's golf. Over the years, she has become a huge advocate of anti-bullying and teams up with foundations that combat cyberbullying. And if that wasn't enough, she even came back to Dubai and talked about her experience as a woman in pro golf. She exposed all the abuse she faced from other golfers, reporters, and online trolls. Even though Paige didn't end up being a professional golfer long enough to dominate the field, we're still glad to know that she uses her influence to positively impact the whole world. And that's a wrap for this video. What part of Paige's story inspired you the most? Do you think it was right for her to quit golf? Let us know in the comments below. Before you head out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss another awesome golf video. Until next time!